Hi everyone, this is Annie with Thrift Lux and Stuff where we talk a little bit about thrift, we talk a little bit about Lux, and sometimes we talk a little bit about stuff. So today I have a thrift haul for you and um, well, it's a mixture. So some of it is from the Goodwill outlet because we most recently went to the Goodwill outlet <clears throat> and it's the second time we've been actually since like this whole COVID thing. So it's, it's really kind of interesting. I'm curious to know, um, if you guys go to the Goodwill outlet and if you do, like, I'd be curious in your comments below, like what, like what the drill is because at ours, they make you like well, first of all, they only let in, I think, 50 people at a time. And then, like, they have these carts that you're assigned. And so you have, like, a parking lot for your cart. And then I think they allow five people for overflow. But I don't know. It's it's different. It's really, it's just different. Um, but it's healthy. So that's what's most important, right? So that we all stay safe. Um, but anyway, so we went there. And then we went to um, a estate sale, total random. We just saw a sign and we're like, oh, we got to go. So that's, you know, kind of how we roll. Um, estate sale and then um, art, we went to Arthur Star. So those are the things that I'm going to be sharing with you. So um, before I get started, of course, uh, what I'm wearing today that is thrifted, pretty much I think my entire outfit actually. Um, so I'm inserting pictures for the body shot until I kind of get a better system with how to show you guys. Um, Cause I, I think when I just stand up here from the couch, it doesn't go well. <laughs> So I'm not going to do that anymore. So I thought I'll start taking some body shot pictures and you tell me if that is okay for now until I um, get a better setup. So anyway, um, my earrings are from the ARC thrift store and uh, you know, they kind of hurt when they, when they put them in. I've noticed these particular ones. Um, I don't know why. I don't know if my little earring hole isn't like big enough or because I don't wear earrings all the time sometimes it closes up on you I don't know um so yeah uh these are from the art thrift store and uh this top is um from Calvin Klein and I believe I got this at the Goodwill outlet yeah and then um the black skirt is also from the Goodwill outlet and then the shoes which I will show you because you can't see those as well in the um in the picture, but these are um, from uh, Ann Taylor. So I got these, not at the Goodwill outlet. I think I got these at the ARC um, thrift store as well. And you know, we used to have a savers and they really did have the best shoes, you guys. Like I miss them so much for the shoes, but uh, every now and then I find some good shoes at, um, at ARC or at, good, at Goodwill, um, not the outlet, just the Goodwill. It's hard to find good shoes at the Goodwill outlet because there's people who specialize in that. So every time I go, they're just like, oh, like they just take it all in really, really fast and you don't have time. So I never get there on time anyway. Um, okay, so moving on because I don't want to make this too, too long. So um, at the estate sale, I got these ornaments. I think they're vintage. Um, it's always hard to know if they're just replicas. But I got this one and this green one um, because my Christmas tree is all vintage ornaments from the 60s. And so um, I grab them whenever I can because you never ever can have too many backups of those, right? Like they break really easy and it's kind of sad. Um, next, I got some jewelry. So I'm totally into flowers and sort of like the boho 70s feel. So this is um, a flower that I still have the tag on it. I don't think I paid $7.99. I think blue was on... I think it was half off that day. Yeah, it would have been because I don't like to pay full price for jewelry, but I like it because you can wear it as a pin, but it has the material back there so that you can actually wear it as a um, as a necklace. I was thinking I should take this out, but I'll just save time and not. So got this and then I got this uh, necklace, this little green necklace. And I don't know, it just spoke to me. So I, I grabbed it. Um, I think it was the color. Uh, I just, I don't know, there was something about this necklace that I just thought I need to have that. So got that. And then um, I think I had just like wrapped up the um, fall vignette challenge. Um, if you haven't seen that, check it out below. It was a really, um, it was a really cool uh, challenge and a video to make. But I found this, um, this tablecloth and it just like speaks fall to me. So I thought, oh, you know what, I might uh, put this on the um, dining room table if we ever host Thanksgiving. So um, I really liked, I don't know, I just liked the colors in it. I thought it had a nice homey fall feel to it. So we got that. And then, um, so, okay. 
So I didn't get the sweater. What I did was I got this for the collar. So I don't know um, if you guys like follow the fashion trends, but I think it was really more in the spring of 2020 this year that the Pilgrim collar was like all the rage. But um, you know, there's a show I watch called Sheer Lux and it's, um, it's based in the UK and it's just like about fashion and makeup and you know, food and all sorts of things. And I always like to have it running in the background. And um, the ladies on there are always like wearing the Pilgrim collar, I've noticed. And I was like, oh, where can I find that? So what I did was, um, it's faster to take this apart than it was to put it together. So this used to be a dress, you guys. This was like somebody's 1980s dress. And um, when I was like going through the bins, I found at least five or six dresses. And they must have all been from the same lady because they were all oh, like the 1980s like just work dress like you know shoulder pads and the big buttons and like a built-in belt and so there was this guy and um what I did was I took out scissors at the Goodwill outlet and I just like cut that guy right in half because I didn't want the dress I just I just wanted the collar so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a way to make this into um a dickie, which for those of you who don't know what that term is, because that's not me being perverted, I promise. Um, so a dickie is, um, you just like, it's like this little bib almost that you wear underneath your sweaters so that you can create a collar effect or look if that's what you're going for. So um, that's how I'm going to wear it as I showed you when I had this sweater over the hanger. So I had to figure it out. Um, but it's going to be a fun project, so I'm kind of excited to rock that. And then next, what I got for myself was, um, it's all getting caught. Okay, so I saw this really, really cute tank top, and it's just, I think it's a Target brand. I think it's Morona, Morona, yes, yeah, Morona. So I really like the dark florals, but then I saw this like pea green cardigan, and it's a longer cardigan, so it's gonna like go more past your knee when you wear it with jeans. But I thought, oh, this is so pretty together. So I was really kind of happy and excited to find that. And then it occurred to me if I ever wanted to, I wouldn't wear this together because it's too much green. But I thought, you know, if I was wearing just like white or cream, I could wear this. But I don't know, maybe I'd wear gold. I don't know. Anyway, I must be in the green mode because um, clearly everything seems to have this like celery green look to it. And this is by um, Zanana Premium. Never heard of them, but anyway. So that's that. And then this is just a, um, sorry, I got like a garage sale, like $1 tag on this hanger. Um, this is just a little tank top that I have. And um, I just, I don't know, I always wear tank tops either when I'm going to bed or under a top. I just, I never can have enough of those. Um, and then these are just some cute shorts. Again, I thought, oh, those would be good for when I'm working out in the morning or just to sleep in. So just some little shorts. So the rest is, okay, so the rest of the clothes that I'm gonna share with you are all gonna be for sale. So um, first, I thought this was so cute. Here, let me zip it up for you really, really fast, sorry. Okay, just a second, okay. Wait for it, okay. So, this is a J. Crew fleece vest, which I thought was so cute, like it's, totally classic, right? I mean, that's not houndstooth, but it's a completely classic, never will go out of style print. And um, it is a J. Crew size small women's, but I thought that was super, super cute for fall coming up. And then I saw, I spotted, I guess, um, this is, these are all from the Goodwill outlet. Um, I have featured this brand before. I think this is J. Jill. Let me see quickly yeah so this is um it's by J. Jill and it's just like this beautiful scarf so you go from the grays oops there we go to the reds I know you can't see me anymore it's kind of hard <laughs> but isn't that gorgeous and um for the material gosh it's like a really soft woolly material actually let's see what the materials are oh yeah it's 100% wool so there you go I mean, you can tell just by touching it, you're like, oh, this is gonna keep you warm. So I thought that was really, really pretty. So um, that will be listed. And then we found this cute little kid's uh, North Face 
jacket. And I have to tell you, it is so crazy. Like, I find kids North Face stuff all the time, all the time. And you know, I'm in Colorado, so it's more frequent for us to find like the Patagonias and the North Faces at the um, Goodwills and Goodwill outlets. But I just seem to always, always find the kitty stuff. I don't know why. So this is um, a boy's medium, and it does have the name of the original owner on there. I'll just put my fingers over that. I don't know if that's really a big deal, but you know. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was super, super cute. So um, this could be fall, right? So gonna be listing that. And then next, oh, I really liked these, but um, they're not my size. These are a um, Joe B by Joe Ben Bassett, extra large. And they're these cute kind of boho wide lace. It's got elastic band waist and um, it's got the the wide leg. So isn't that cute? Like, oh, I just think this is, oh, sorry, I'm dropping it, but I just think these are adorable. So um, I really, really liked those. Oh, and they come with pockets too. So you've got your pockets because, you know, we girls, we like our pockets. So yeah, pockets on both sides. So got those. And then one last, one last clothing item. So <laughs> these are really soft. I almost kept these for me to be honest with you. Um, so I lost the tag, but these are totally brand new, never have been worn. Um, but here we go. So these are Halloween fleece pants. Look at that, isn't that fun? That is so fun. Oh my gosh, I love these. So um, that's a weird shot, I should, <laughs> hi. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm having too much fun with this. Okay, so these are um, a large, 11 to 13. So I'm assuming adult, because I would wear them. Um, and they are from No Boundaries, so I think that's a Target brand. But yeah, super soft. These have not been worn. I wish I had the brand new with tag with it still, but I don't. Um, but I will be, will be listing those. And then I found this in, uh, I don't know, I wish she had her hat, but um, I just took a chance on this. So this is um, Toy Story. Uh, there's Woody and then Jessie, right? She's the girl. So this little Jessie doll, isn't she cute? Oh look, she, like, she looks like she's, there we go. And she's got these little overalls and she's, um, she comes with her little boots. And yeah, she has a little cute bow in her hair, but I don't have a hat for her. I'm assuming she came with a hat. So I know there's people who kind of collect these. Like every time we get stuff from Toy Story, especially Buzz Lightyear, it seems like um, they get like, you know, people like them. So I went ahead and grabbed her and thought I'd take a chance and list her. So got her. And then, okay, so I have to tell you the story on this. So these are, um, they're little Star Wars figures. Um, Anakin and Ark Trooper. I don't know if you can see them in there. And like I was at the bin and oh, duh, of course I was a good while at but this man comes over and he just like whoosh, he just like went for all of the like the um what do you call them? Uh, the pants, the pots and pants, and you know, making a mess, like totally making all this noise and just like really aggressive and assertive, which I get it, you know, everyone's there to be the first to grab the goods. But like I'm just you know, kind of taking my time because it's sort of my place to not think about anything and I he just like totally skipped over this I'm like Star Wars hello like everybody loves Star Wars so I was really excited to um to find this and it just goes to show like take your time and go to the bottom of the bin because you just never know what's going to be there so got this and then I also in that same bin um I found another Star Wars thing so I got this guy and he's totally brand new with tag and, you know, at first I thought, oh, how awesome, what a cool lunchbox. But then when I looked at it further, it is, open it up here, it's got little sandwich makers, like not cookie cutters, but sandwich makers. So you can, um, here, let me take them out. Er, okay, there we go. So you can see it's metal on the back, but you can make your kids sandwiches, like their peanut butter and jelly, and then just like, it's that shape, right? I thought that was so cool. Um, so I got that. And then, let's see. Okay, just a couple more things. Okay, that box is gonna go blow over. Um, so I got a puzzle and 
I was kind of debating because I think I had like four puzzles and I was like, no, I'll just do one puzzle. Because you know with COVID, like for a while we were selling puzzles like pretty successfully because I think everybody was homebound and they didn't know what to do. And they're like, oh my God, I'm going to stir crazy. So I thought, oh gosh, you know, I wonder with the weather getting colder, if people are going to go into that same place of like, we need indoor activities, please. So I went ahead and got the kitty one. Um, isn't that cute? It's got the little kitties and the chickies. I just think it's so cute. So I went ahead and just got this guy um, and that's it. But it's totally like sealed with the plastic. Unfortunately, the plastic got a little ripped right there. But um, got that. So hopefully somebody will like that. And then, um, oh gosh, I don't even know if it's worth sharing this. So, okay, this box, I have this huge box. It's gonna fall over. Okay, so I got this. Um, what are they called? They're called Hatchimals. And we've had success with these before, but um, I don't know if this works because the batteries are dead. And um, I think it probably would, the batteries would cost more than what I would list it for. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this guy, um, but I just thought it was cute. So I'll probably put it up for like, maybe just, I don't know, like $3 or something. Cause you know, sometimes that's what you have. So the next, um, this is for someone maybe who crafts. So I've got inside here, like, I guess I could open one up for you. Um, let's see if you can see. Well, am I going to tear it if I do that? Okay, just a second. Oh my goodness, it's just tape. Why can't I? Okay, we're almost there. Ah, okay. Oh, good, Brady. There's two of them. Oh my goodness. Really, guys? Okay, we'll just retape it. I just don't want to break it because I think what I'm going to do is sell this all together as a lot. Um, but what it is, is a confetti. And I don't know, like, you know, I don't know what to do with it other than when you throw it on a table when you're having a party. Um, but I don't need all this confetti. And I thought, well, you know, maybe somebody out there would like it for their parties or maybe someone out there does crafts with it. So I was thinking I would put that into a craft lot. Um, okay, so I'm gonna have to retake that. So I've got this bag in the, that color, and then this bag, and this color is more, um, it's got more of the golds and the whites and the blacks. And so it's, um, I think, more like festive for New Year's Eve time, I would think. Whereas this one has more of the um, pastels, the teals and the peaches and the golds. So we got that. Oh, and this one has, ooh, this one has different colors too. Okay, so this one has those colors in it. So that's kind of pretty. Is that a flamingo? Kind of looks like a flamingo or a unicorn. Oh, I think that's a unicorn. It's kind of cool. Okay, so there's that. And then, speaking of crafts, so there's more craft stuff. Okay, so this, you guys, this whole box is like, I don't know. What you, like wedding stuff? I don't know. It's like everything. So you've got more confetti. So here's more little confetti pieces. Um, here's these ones. These ones are, I don't know who that or what that is, if that's a Disney thing, but we got those ones. And then we've got these little like confetti gems like it's, I think someone who does crafts would totally have a heyday with those because I can see so many possibilities of that um and then I've got tons and tons and tons of these little um organza bags but they have a little crosses on them so like if you have a baptism or some sort of religious event and you had party favors you could use it for that um or if you just want a place to store your jewelry I don't know you could use it for that um okay so then this, you guys, look at this. Like, someone would like this for crafts, right? Okay, oh, it's heavy. Do you see all of that? Like, look at that. So I think what these are meant for is you're supposed to put them on kind of like confetti. They're called scatters. Let's see if you can see that. There you go. So they're called scatters. So I think you're supposed to scatter these over a table um, just to give it a really cool effect. So I'm sure like at a wedding, Maybe somebody would use that. So I have like the purple and then I have the pink. Oh, that'd be kind of fun for our little girl's birthday. And then I have um, one set, just one of black and clear. So I have those. And then I've got more um, confetti. This is, okay, so these say happy birthday. And 
Okay, so I have some purple ones. Oh, what do these say on them? Okay, Mr. and Mrs. So these are definitely more wedding themed. And then here's some more, oh, things are falling. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. Um, this is something more religious because I think those are little crosses in there and doves, yeah. And then, yeah, so that is all repeats of the same stuff, just more confetti in there. So lots of stuff. Um, yeah, so I don't know if you guys have ideas of how to list that. You tell me, but I was seriously thinking I'm just going to lot it all together. I mean, it's not worth my time really to put it together in, um, individually to sell them. I might lot them by their colors. Um, I may do that, but that's sort of where I'm at. So um, I'm surrounded by all these thrifting things. So that's, um, those are all the things we scored. And uh, Ryan scored some really cool uh, like kitchen appliance stuff. So he always is looking at kitchen things. Like when you go to our store, um, anything that's electronic or kitchen appliance oriented or just like computer oriented, that's the stuff that he lists. And then if it's anything like crafts or clothing um, or home decor, that's me. And um, oh shoot, you know what? There's one more thing, but I don't have it. It's in the um, it's in the inventory room. We found the cutest little, uh, maybe I'll take a picture of it and insert it. We found the cutest little Winnie the Pooh um, photo frame. Oh, it's so cute. So um, that is also going to be listed. So anyway, um, sorry, Ryan just walked by. So that's what we have. And I just want to say thank you so much for those of you who have found some things at our store already. Um, we have definitely picked up some traction um, in the last couple weeks and we have been selling some of the Halloween stuff. So I'm so happy about that because it's going to good people. And um, we also have been just selling some of the electronics and things of that nature. So it's been awesome to see this stuff leaving our house because I think I told you I don't have, um, oh, thank you. So Ryan brought me the... <laughs> Brian brought me the little Winnie the Pooh. So here's the Winnie the Pooh frame right here. Isn't that so cute? And here's the side view. And then here's the back. And um, on the bottom, you can see it's from uh, Disney. So anyway, that's Winnie the Pooh. Oh, so cute. Maybe I should take, make that be my... <laughs> my thumbnail. So anyway, um, yeah, thank you everyone for your support. And I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more because we're always thrifting and we're always listing new things all the time. So I'll keep you posted. And until then, I will talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye everyone.